You can see here, they're having a little bit too much fun. <laughs> Had to take it out on the, on the door. So we just pulled up to 25 Trumpet View Lane here in Elgin. This property actually came through our website. Typical out-of-state seller. Um, the guy had it rented for several years, was dealing with problem tenants, and just wanted it off of his hands. So lead came through. We actually keyed Trey up on it. Yeah, yeah. This one, he was uh, owned it, like, like Dan said, for a couple years. Uh, was just tired of dealing with it. He lived in Kansas and just wasn't able to manage it from there. So went ahead and pulled out some pain points, figured out he was he basically at the end of the call, he said, hey, I'm not trying to make anything, just cover the mortgage, that's all I would need. So uh, with us being able to come in, send a mobile notary his way, where he doesn't have to come all the way back here to you know have that closing take place, he was more than happy to move forward with us. So uh, we're happy about it, it looks solid. Yeah, absolutely. Looks solid from the outside so far. And it's a perfect example where it's important in your sales process to try to pull out as much pain point as you can mm -hmm. and just simply ask the right questions, exactly. right? By the end of the call, he basically told you what he needed. He yeah. said, look, I don't even wanna make money on this house. If you can just cover what's owed on the mortgage, which is a good amount less than the property's actually worth, mm -hmm. I'm willing to let it go. Yeah. So I said, let's lock this thing up. Yeah. So basically what we're looking at, this is a 2003 build, roughly 2,100 square feet. We have three bedrooms, 2.5 baths. House sold for 180,000 about 10 years ago when he purchased it. Current market value, 220 plus, right? With this crazy hyperinflated market, there's a good chance we could pull a little bit more equity out of that mix. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and walk this house, go through some of the different repairs that need done. And we'll be using an app called Site Audit Pro where I can literally take pictures of every repair that we need and put it into a report and we can send that out to our contractor for estimates. Let's take a quick look around. I like the flow of this house. You know, it's cute. Kind of southern charm, if yeah. you will. Nice little porch. Yeah. We got a note from Kershaw County Utilities. Looks like the tenant didn't pay their bills. We'll run into that a good bit. So I like it opened up. We've got a nice open floor plan in here. Obviously this old carpet is gonna have to go. So we'll open up the site audit report. We'll create a new, new property address. And literally any info is input into this app. It makes it simple and easy for reference. And it's also a good point where we can pull it up with our contractors to ensure that they've detailed and touched every single item. We also use it to review on the back end as well. So now that we've created the property, we'll go ahead and go to add issues. So here, what's that? When she said uh, her her husband and the, the owner, the old owner of this house, laid all that side back there, but it's pretty much non-existent now. Just tenants parking and parking their cars and all that type of stuff. Which I don't see that being like a huge problem. Yeah. You know, someone yeah. that buys a backyard, they're going to be happy just to have like cul-de-sac looking, overlooking trees, mm -hmm. you know? There's a, there's a lot of privacy back here. Yeah, these, these nice big lots help sell the houses because obviously people don't like to be stacked on top of each other like a lot of these new neighborhoods. So when you can find a property in a cul-de-sac that's overlooking the wooded areas, it just gives a lot more privacy, a lot more freedom. We'll end up replacing these Formica countertops. We get granted at such a great price. I mean, we're pulling $28 a square foot, which you can lay some granite in this kitchen for thousand bucks, twelve hundred dollars, and be good to go. Which, in my mind, I'd much rather pay a thousand extra dollars to sell this property quick because it's got that wow factor, 
as compared to just keeping some old countertops that are you know 15 years old so we end up putting granite in just about every one of our flips again it just it expedites that process and if we can really get that pop in the wow factor it's going to make the buyers come through like crazy appliances probably could go but then again we could just end up leaving them slide a lot of the rehabs these these flippers are not even putting refrigerators in the house you can see we got in here some water damage which that right there is honestly just people not caring you know these tenants that rent these houses out knowing that a landlord is thousands of miles away don't really have much regard for people's stuff, right? They pay the rent, they got a place to live, and in some cases you can end up with stuff like this, which is too bad, but it's the repair costs that you gotta account for if you're gonna hold a rental. Carpet. I'll probably have Travon rip up all the carpet just to get rid of it and maybe just place the carpet in the bedrooms. That would leave us only having to do the flooring throughout the, the main ways. Obviously, we're gonna need paint throughout. Frog up here. situation right yep yeah they I think when we first spoke with him I think he was probably two or three weeks out from getting evicted so yeah still done, fresh done yeah definitely done the whole situation you can see here they're having a little bit too much fun <laughs> had to take it out on the on the door either that or had some domestic some domestic going on yeah Obviously, we'll have to replace that door. The rest of this, honestly, just paint, carpet in the, in the closet. That shower's looking a little bit rough. So depending on how good we're able to clean this thing, there's a chance we may have to put a new tub surround in it. But we'll see what we can dissect when we get the crew in here. We'll go ahead and just account for it on our report just to make sure that we have that baked into our repair costs. These high ceilings will be fun to paint. Gonna have to get some, some tall, V-frame ladders in here, or maybe just get the big extensions. But them tall ceilings are always fun. Always fun to paint. So the property manager let us know that I guess they were driving back here a good bit. You can see a lot of the grass was tore up, but to be honest, I'm not too worried about doing anything with that one we're kind of out here in the country 
I mean, it's in city limits of Elgin, but you got wooded backyard back here. You know, someone could put up a nice little fire pit here and just have their little hangout. I mean, I guess we're at the water washed out a little bit here. Be nice just to bring some equipment through, just kind of smooth that out, right? Give it a little bit more appeal, but I don't see it being necessary to lay any sod in this case, just because of where we are, you know? Yeah. And the roof looks pretty solid. We got some socket work right here. Yeah, that unit will need a new unit. You can tell just by the looks of it, you know, yeah. even if this thing was running and was good, I mean, this thing's got to be the original unit. So looking at that, it's 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Still trucking, probably. But we'll go ahead and put that on the report. Which if you have a good AC person, I mean, you could get a new unit for four grand. As long as the duct works okay. You always, always want to open up the crawl space because you never know what you're going to find. Looks like someone was military. Yeah. It's actually a really nice bag right there. Yeah. Imagine if we opened this thing up and found their stash, dude. <laughs> Roll up on some kingpin. Yeah, I'm also, what's up Probably close. Yeah. House Flipping Chronicles. So, I mean, you look under here, piers look great, you know, and there's actually, there's a lot more piers in this crawl space than you'll see in a lot of houses. So, we'll of course have our bug guy come by just to inspect and make sure there's no underlying termite issues. But one, it sits so high, you got plenty of room to breathe under here. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of moisture or water, so. I mean, just looking at it firsthand, it looks looks like a pretty clean foundation, clean crawl space. But you always want to bring your people through just in case. You know, inspectors always going to pull out more opportunities and more problems in the in the house than I could find myself. Yeah. That's why you got to trust your team. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, there's gear in there. Dang, dude. I think this was the tenants. I mean, the, the old owner of this former military retired, so maybe his stuff may have forgot about it. National Guard. Dude, this flag was presented to a American hero in recognition for service. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, that's probably him, man, the old owner. We should probably maybe reach out to him and let him know that this was under here. At least leave it till we close, you know, give them a chance to get their stuff. Mm -hmm. It is intriguing though that it's just shoved under here. Yeah. It's almost like strategically placed here to for some reason. Yeah. So just briefly looking at the repairs that we've noted on the report, we're probably looking at about twenty-five thousand. We'll put it at thirty just to make sure we got a little bit of wiggle room in there, but assessing our purchase price at 118 we'll put an extra thousand in for closing costs so you know round it up to 120 plus 30 in repairs we're still sitting at nearly a hundred thousand dollar equity position right of course on the back end you want to make sure that real estate commissions closing costs contingencies any other things would be accounted for on the sale side as well so we can put an extra six percent but as it sits we're looking to make a good ninety thousand dollar profit on this which is pretty incredible not a bad gig we'll keep you guys posted on the progress and come in here with the construction crew see you guys on the other side you ready you want to shut it come on Boom. oh good job good job